Kenya, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good afternoon, Antoinette. Good afternoon. God bless you guys. Thank you for coming into Thursday's midday breakthrough hour with yours truly, Apostle Proctor. Go ahead and share the broadcast. If you don't mind, share it with your friends. God bless you. Hope that you have been having a great day so far. Good afternoon, Monique. God bless you. God bless you. Give me a few seconds that I will share the broadcast out. Just a few seconds. Hallelujah. Then we're going to make it do what it do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In the meantime, hallelujah, we're just going to lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, for he is worthy to be praised even at this noonday hour. God is worthy. Thank you for joining me. Some of you probably uh, taking your lunch break. What an awesome way to spend lunch is in the word and praying touching and agreeing with one another amen this is the page where we believe in the god of the breakthrough we believe in the power of prayer we believe in the power of agreement in prayer for the bible say once we uh begin to touch and agree in prayer he said that he will be there for us he said we're any two of three I gather in his name. There he is in the midst. So even as we gather today on this Thursday, this noonday hour in cyberspace, we know that God is already here. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I can feel him in the atmosphere. I can feel the presence of the Lord even now. Hallelujah. I pray that I have some warriors on with me. Hallelujah. Somebody that's believing. Hallelujah. That God will turn something around. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Prayers for the Potter and Washington Grand Boys. Yes, hallelujah. Go ahead and put up those prayer requests because we are going to be praying one for another. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God bless you, Sister Proctor. God bless you, Sister Porter. God bless you, Mimi. Be unique. God bless you. <coughs> uh, Sister Graham, God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I was just, uh, a scripture came into my uh, spirit the other day, and it is still in my spirit today. So I want to take the time to just share this scripture with you. It's good for us to uh, feast on the word of God. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe that Psalms 119 and verse 105 says that the word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Hallelujah. And then Joshua, I believe it's Joshua 1 and 8 says that if we meditate on the word of God, it will bring us good success. Somebody wondering how they're going to get over, how they're going to get a breakthrough. Uh, well, these are some of the ways that you're going to get over and that you can experience a breakthrough. Meditating on the word of God, uh, praying, having faith in God, linking up your faith with a body of believers. Hallelujah. So I just want to share this passage of scripture uh, with you. <laughs> oh, Lordy, the print is small. I'm looking in this, uh, what is it? Uh, what version of the Bible am I looking in today? 
It is the Life Application Study Bible, and the print is so small. I was trying to get it out of my, my big print Bible, King James Version, but the page is too. So bear with me if you see me squeaking up my eyes. I'm laughing because the other day my daughter was making a little joke to my, uh, talking about somebody like, Mama, how y'all do it when you get old, scrunching your eyes? I say, girl, just live a little bit. Live a little bit longer. You may have to scrunch your eyes as well. So I want to read for you uh, 1 John chapter 4. Uh, 1 John chapter 4. I'm going to start with uh, verse 16. Now I'm, I'm, I'm scrunching my eyes, so you got to bear with me. Go ahead and share the broadcast if you haven't shared with a friend. We know that sharing is caring. 1 John chapter 4. Did I say verse 16? Yes. It says, we know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in his love. God is love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in him. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in the world. Verse 18, so love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced perfect love. We love each other because he first loved us. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love casts out fear. Hallelujah. That's what I, I just want to share a little bit on that with you today. Hallelujah. The perfect love of God casts out all fear. Hallelujah. The perfect love of God casts out all fear. We thank God for the reading of his holy word. We pray that it is a blessing to every hearer, every doer of God's holy word. Amen. Perfect love casts out all fear. Hallelujah. You know, many people are afraid today. Many people have fear of one thing or the other. Hallelujah. Fear of the economy, what the economy is going to do. Fear of uh, what we're going through in the nation uh, as far as uh, racism is concerned, as far as our election that was had uh when was it last month a few weeks ago fear of you know one thing or another some people are fear of, have fear of the police <laughs> some people have fear of dying fear of being sick fear of just fear of some of everything Fear, fear, fear. Fear is not of God. The Bible says fear is not of God. In fact, I believe it's 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given us power, love, and a sound mind. Come on. Hallelujah. When you begin to the perfect love of God. God. God love is so perfect. Hallelujah. Tell it will uh it will flush out the fear in your life, no matter what is going on. Uh, I, I, I like to quote what the Apostle James said. Hey, Maggie, Monty, God bless you. Thank you for coming in. The Apostle James said, in this world, we will have some trials. I believe it's... Uh, Chapter five, I'm not sure. Don't, don't hold me to that. Hallelujah. He says, in this world, if it's not chapter five, it's chapter one. He say, in this world, we will have some trials. We will have some tribulations. But we got to learn to count it all joy. Hallelujah. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. You can't believe what you see half of the time because half of the time what you see is a illusion. Come on. Hallelujah. Fear is just false evidence that appear real. Yes, you may have gotten 
uh, uh, a, a notice from your employee that your hours are being uh, cut or perhaps you have been uh, laid off. Yes, it may be true that you need some new breaks and you don't know where the money is coming from and you got fear that if you get in that car, man, will this car hold up on me? Fear for one thing or another. Again, but First John chapter uh, 4 tells us that Fear is not of God. Hallelujah. Fear is not of God. Let me tell you what fear, some of the things that fear would do for you. Uh, fear will strip you and rob you of your joy. Fear will strip you and rob you of your peace. Why? Because you are, sometimes we can get so caught up on what is going on, we forget that God really loves us. We forget that God will perfect everything that concerns us. Let me tell you, fear will paralyze you. Fear will cause you not to make a move. You know, when God is telling you to move, 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 I want you to step out in faith. I want you to do this. Go ahead and launch that business. Come on. Go ahead and launch your net on the other side. But then you begin to reason with yourself. Can I really start this business? Can I really cast my net on the other side? You begin to think about everything that can go wrong rather than everything that's going to go right. Uh, <coughs> as I was uh, charging up my phone, my phone was on YouTube and these videos kept strolling up. And one of the videos that's just come back to my mind, it was a little short clip of Cardi B. She was uh, driving in her car and she seen all of these uh, trucks. Uh, and every truck had uh, like signs of Donald Trump, uh, you know, people that was voted for him, all of these pickup trucks. And so it was sort of like an image in her head. So I see these Caucasian men pick up trucks with big signs that say Donald Trump. Immediately fear came upon her. Ask me how I know, because the way she began to respond, man, I, and she was like, man, I got to get up out of here. I got to get up out of here. I don't know what these people are going to do. Hallelujah to me. But I want to tell you by the word of God today. Hallelujah. Once God got you, can nobody be against you? No matter how they try it will not work. I don't care what neighborhood you drive in. I don't care what party affiliation you are linked up with. A uh, perfect, God's perfect love, it casts out fear. So I want to read that again from the NIV, New International uh, Translation. Hallelujah. I believe that this is a word for someone. You are going through some things. You've been in a battle. You've been in a storm. And you don't know how it's going to come out. But can I tell you, if you hold on to Jesus, you can ride out that storm. Jesus loves you so much. He loved you so much till he took your place. He took my place on that cross at Calvary. He went through everything that we should have gone through. Come on, hallelujah. We're not going to uh, let fear inundate our life. We're not going to let fear fear inundate our mind, our thinking, our position. Our position should be love. Our position should be love. Hallelujah. Some people have fear because of, uh, again, what we have been seeing going on in 2020. Some people feel like, oh, when is this thing going to stop? Will it trickle over into 2021? Will I be the next one that get a sickness? Come on. Hallelujah. I'm not going outside because of this, that, or the third. Fear. All kind of fear. Glory be to God. But again, like I said, hallelujah, like the word of God says, if you believe in God, hallelujah, and you know his love for you, it will cast out 
all the fear that the enemy is trying to bring to you. Some people even have fear of concerning their children. Will my child make it? You know, some people are saying, oh, what is the world? What in the world are we coming to? What is the world coming to? Hallelujah. Fear, am I going to make it home? Fear, is my husband going to make it home? Fear, is my children going to make it? Hallelujah. But if we begin to, to think on Jesus, Jesus. Think on the love that he had for us. It will drive out that old spirit of fear. Can you hear me today? Hallelujah. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying to you today? The Lord loves you. He is concerned about everything, every, everything. Somebody got fear of, oh, it's my loved one. Hallelujah. Going to stay behind these prison walls forever. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Will they stay in prison forever? Somebody may have fear of uh, losing their mind. Hallelujah. Because of everything that is coming upon you. But I want you to rest. God wants you to rest. Rest in his care. Rest in his promise. Hallelujah. So let me read this from the NIV version. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm going to read with verse 17 through 18. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love. Some people even have fear of starting over again in a relationship because of what you went through before in times past. So they just figure, guess what? I'm, go I'm giving up on love. I am giving up on love. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In this world, we are like Jesus. And so what is, what is the writer saying? In this world, we are like Jesus. Jesus is love. That's how we are like him. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear. Perfect love drives out fear. If you knew if you could only understand how much Jesus loves you, if you could only understand how he sings over you, if you could only understand that he give his angels charge over you, come on, if you could only understand how God provides for you, glory be to God, he say, I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end. Hallelujah. Perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. Fear has to do with punishment. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? Fear has everything to do with punishment. Just think of it like this. You knew when you were a kid growing up, you knew if you didn't do what your parents said, or you did something that they told you you should not do, and you knew they were coming home, or you knew they were going to find out, the first thing came into your mind, into your spirit, you got fear, and you said, guess what? I know they're going to put me on a punishment. I know that they're going to beat me. Come on. Hallelujah. In your little mind, you probably didn't even think of, oh, my parent loved me so much, maybe they'll give me another chance. Come on. Hallelujah. And that's just like, adults today. The first thing you think about is punishment. How is it's you know, if, if, I, if I cast my net, hallelujah, on the other side, will I, will I get a great catch? Or do I have fear that I'm going to be punishment, punished because I use all my resources in this thing and I, and it may not turn out the way that I plan for it to turn out. So I even have fear, even though I'm casting my net on the other side, but I have fear that the net will break. I have fear that I may not catch no fishes. I have fear of this and fear of that. And then you are just being punished in your mind. Come on, hallelujah. The story is already written. And the, the end of the story is 
You are a winner. We are a winner in God. Why? Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 28 says what? All things work for the good of those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. Even if it's a bloop or a blunder, at the end, it's got to work out for your purpose. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I don't know if I got the story turned backwards, but one of the stories that came just came in my mind is the man that uh, was supposed to be making uh, french fries cut the potato wrong and it came out to potato chips. Don't you know God can work in our mess and flip that story? Either he was supposed to be making french, uh, potato chips and then it came out to french fries. I don't, I don't remember which way the story went. But anyway, although he messed up, he came out to be a winner. Come on. All things work for the good of those that love the Lord. And this is why it's so important that we must exude the love of God. Hallelujah. In our life. Hallelujah. Perfect love casts out fear. Glory be to God. Going back to that story of Cardi B driving and seeing all these pickup trucks and uh, the Caucasian men with Trump signs. The first thing came in her head was fear. Glory be to God, because things that happened in the past, and, and if we be real, they still happen today. But, when, but if she had knew how much God loved her, glory be to God, that what she saw wouldn't have even been a issue. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because when, when you allow the love of God to ignite out of you, to resonate out of you, even when somebody don't like you or hate you, they cannot resist the love of God that flows out of you. Come on. Hallelujah. The love of God is so powerful. It is so powerful till it would even make your enemies become your footstool. Hallelujah. Perfect love casts out fear. This version says it fear has everything to do with punishment. Come on. And fear is a form of punishment. Glory be to God. So beloved, no matter what you may be going through, no matter what you may be facing, no matter what your lot is today, I want to let you know that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you so much. He loves you with an everlasting love. Come on. Hallelujah. He don't want you to be tormented. He don't want you to be robbed of your peace. He don't want you to be robbed of your joy. He don't want you to become paralyzed till you can't move when he say move. Come on. Hallelujah. That you won't be able to step out into the deep. And in spite of what we have been experiencing, hallelujah. And yes, 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 I know that it is real. It is real. Hallelujah. All the, the, the chaos that has been going on in the world, but God still promised to be there with us. He promised to walk us through everything that we go through and that we will come out on the other side. Hallelujah. As pure gold. This is, this is not words mm, that are just being echoed. I speak as the oracles of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Like he told Jeremiah, he say, uh, I want you to prophesy this word. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to bless you. Plans not of evil, not of harm, but plans to give you an expected end. No matter who is in the office, glory be to God. No matter what that person's name is, no matter what their party affiliation is, this is one thing that the people of God must understand, that the government... Hallelujah. Rest upon the shoulders of God. The government don't rest upon a man. It don't rest upon a woman. It does not rest upon a party affiliation. Some people are beginning to worship the man more than they are worshiping the creator. Come on. Hallelujah. God is the one that sit high. God 
it's the one that look low and his eyes are in the four corners of the world. He neither sleep nor slumber. Come on. Hallelujah. We got to begin to worship God with everything. When we begin to worship God with everything, we begin to feel the love of God. Hallelujah. Tell it doesn't even matter if a Democrat person sit in the office. It doesn't matter if a Republican sit in the office. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. All of them. Glory be to God. And people are, oh, you, you don't worry about uh uh what uh attitudes and this and that. Come on, hallelujah. We're not gonna give a cop out. Glory be to God. God wants all of us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, and especially those that claim that they are saved. Hallelujah. We got to walk the walk and not only talk the talk. Hallelujah. God is looking for kingdom citizens to walk the walk and not only talk the talk. Hallelujah. All have fallen short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And if the truth be told, all of them make deals. Hallelujah. That you can't see and that you don't know about. That's why you got to put your trust in God, not in man. Put your trust in God. When you put your trust in God, hallelujah, it will flush out all of that fear of who's going to who's going to be in. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Can I move? Can I not move? Can I do business? Can I not do business? Can I go to church? Can I not go to church? Am I going to make it? Is my child going to make it? Is my marriage going to last? Am I going to get sick? What's going to happen to me? Hallelujah. Rest in the love of God. Rest in the love of God. No matter what you go through, rest in the love of God. Know that God has you at every stage in your life, at every walk, every jump in your life. Rest in the love of God. Hallelujah. Rest in the love of God. Glory be to God. Even when you lay down at night. Hallelujah. You have to know that God got you even through the night. Even when you're driving, you got to know that God got you. Some people are afraid to even drive because I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, you know, I can't go to sleep. You don't know the neighborhood I live in, but you don't know the God that I serve. God will protect you. Hallelujah. He'll bring you out in any situation. And I just felt like God wanted me to tell that to his people today. Hallelujah. Walk in the love of God. Hallelujah. Experience the love of God. Hallelujah. My God, how could someone give up their only begotten son? Hallelujah. And cause and, and allow him to be bruised, beaten, uh, spat on, uh, his facial hair plucked out of his beard. Come on. Pierced in us in his side. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Given a uh, bitter vinegar and gall. Hallelujah. Put, uh, put a crown of thorns on his head. Ripped his robe off of him. Made mockery of him. Telling him prophesy. Prophesy. If you're a prophet, prophesy. Glory be to God. How can you not know that Jesus took your place? Hallelujah. And not know that he loved you. Hallelujah. Who, who's going to do that for you? Hallelujah. Who would do that? Who in their right mind? Hallelujah. Will allow somebody to give them 39 latches with a, with a, a whip of cat and nine tail and, and uh, little nails on the end of it. Who in their right mind will do that for you? Glory be to God. When I think about Jesus and all that he done for me, come on somebody, hallelujah, we got to know that he love us. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Even when we don't deserve the grace and the mercy, glory be to God. Even when we should be judged, glory be to God. But when God Almighty see the blood, hallelujah, of his dear son, Glory be to God. He got, he got to say, you know what? I, 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 I can't judge Karen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I see the blood written all over her life. I see the blood covered. <laughs> Hallelujah. Covers her. Come on. Hallelujah. This is not something that we need to uh, only focus on when we're in that season of uh, uh, 
in that resurrection season. Come on, hallelujah. No, we, we ought to know that God loves us. Any time of the year, any moment of the year. Let me tell you something. The other day, I was going, yeah, where I was going. I was going to Hobby Lobby um, to take back something. And as I was driving, I began to just think of the goodness of the Lord to me. Hallelujah. And, and the Bible tells me, I ain't talking about you, I'm talking about me. The Bible tells me that all my righteousness is as filthy rags before the Lord. And I begin to just rejoice as, I, as I'm driving, as I'm on the expressway. Tears of love just begin to flow out of my eyes because I can begin to feel the love of God all over me. And I begin to say, well, God, you know, if it wasn't for your love, I, I wouldn't be here in this situation. God, if it wasn't for your love, I could have been messed up. I could have been jacked up. Come on. Hallelujah. God, I could have been homeless. Come on. Hallelujah. God, I could have been this. I could have been that. God, but because of your love for me, hallelujah, I am still here. I am still standing. Not because of no righteousness. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God because it is written. All of our righteousness is as filthy rags before the Lord. And when the words say that, as filthy rags, it is as menstrual rags. Come on. And we know how filthy that is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But it's because Jesus loved us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants somebody to get this in your spirit today. Mm. That God loves you so much. Glory be to God. He loves you so much, no matter what it is, hallelujah, that you're going through what you're facing, hallelujah, the torment that the enemy has been trying to torment you, glory be to God. I come to arrest that spirit today in the mighty name of Jesus, trying to paralyze you. Glory be to God that you won't go no further when God is beckoning you to come up higher, to come up higher, come up higher. Hallelujah. In him. Glory be to God. But you allow the enemy to, to, to torment you. Glory be to God. It's not of God. Torment is not of God. Fear is not of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Will I be able to pay my rent, my mortgage next month. I don't know. Some people live in the land of fear. Hallelujah. But God don't want us. Yes, you can be concerned about those things because you have a natural right to be concerned about it. But pray about everything. Hallelujah. And worry about nothing. Worrying is a, a sin. Go ahead and read Matthew chapter 6. Hallelujah. God say, take no thought about tomorrow. For tomorrow take care of itself. Tomorrow take care of itself. Yes, you have a right to be concerned. And this is why we come before the throne of grace. Hallelujah, that we can cast all our cares upon the Lord because he cares so much for us. He care about your body. Come on, hallelujah. Somebody may, you may be afflicted in your body right now, but let me tell you something. God love you so much. You have been made in the image and the likeness of God. He is your healer. Come on, he love you so much. Glory be to God. Don't you know he is a healer? Glory be to God. Don't you know that he will give you the strength? Glory be to God to eat the to get through it. Hallelujah. I just heard the, the spirit of the Lord say, Hallelujah. The enemy is on a war path. Hallelujah. The enemy is on a war path. Hallelujah. And he's trying to take as many people down with him. Glory be to God. I couldn't understand why God would just keep dropping this word in my spirit. Hallelujah. He give us parts. Hallelujah. Then we put all the pieces together. The enemy is on a war path. Glory be to God. And, and if you don't know how much God love you, glory be to God, you can become his next victim. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You got to square your shoulders. 
Glory be to God and remember how much the Lord loves you. Father, we thank you and we praise you today. Father, we thank you that you allow us to come into your presence once again. Lord God, we thank you for the words of life. God, we pray that your word, oh God, hallelujah, will resonate in the hearts and the minds of your people. Lord God, I have released as you have given it to me. Now, Lord, you say that you give us power to tread upon the scorpion and the serpent and nothing shall by any means harm us. And so, Lord, we take authority in the earth realm today we take apostolic authority hallelujah we rebuke the enemy we rebuke his war path in the name of Jesus and we command him to take his flight and flee in the name of Jesus father we thank you for your love that's been shared abroad hallelujah even in our heart father that spirit of fear we annihilate you now in the mighty name of Jesus we uproot you we command you to leave the people of God's life in the mighty name of Jesus and we lose the love of God. Hallelujah. That's been shed abroad in our heart. We lose the love of God in every situation. Glory be to God that we are going through. We lose the love of God in all of our affairs, in all of our relationships. We lose the love of God in our communities and everything that concerns us. Father, Father, we thank you right now. Father, we praise you right now, God. We lift up that one that's having a battle in his or her mind. Every person under uh, our influence, oh God, under the circle of our influence, every person that is having a battle in their mind with that spirit of fear, we lift them up before your throne of grace today, God. Father, we pray your peace and your joy and love in the Holy Ghost over them right now, Father. That one that have fear of dying. Hallelujah, Lord God. Father, we thank you right now, Father. God, we thank you, Father. We pray for them today, oh God. Father, you say that it is appointed unto man to die, and after that, the judgment. Father, we pray that they would just, hallelujah, give their all to you. So when you, hallelujah, require our breath, oh God, that it will be well with them, oh God. Father, we thank you, oh God, that one that have fear of sickness, sickness attacking their body and what it's going to do to their body. Lord, we pray today, according to your word, you say that all sickness is not unto death. Father, you say that by Jesus' stripes we are healed. And so, Father, we release the healing word of Christ Jesus over them, oh God, even those that are viewing this broadcast, oh God. Father, any manner of sickness and disease, we speak the love of God to it. In the name of Jesus, Father, that one that have fear of not having enough, Lord God, let them experience your love as Jehovah Rapha, hallelujah, the God that provides, Father. We just thank you today, God. We thank you today, Father. That one that's being uh, tormented, oh God, because of one thing or another, oh God. Oh, Father, we just thank you right now, Father, that you're going to heal, you're going to deliver, God. We prophesy, hallelujah, in this prayer. We already know, Father, it is written that you are mighty to heal, you are mighty to save, you are mighty to deliver. And so, God, we send the word today, God. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that your four winds, oh God, we pray that you would send your wind, oh God, to lift this prayer up, hallelujah, all the way to the third heaven, to the throne room of God. Father, we thank you right now. We pray that you, hallelujah, would dispatch your angels. Lord, we know that they hearken uh, unto your voice, God, and so we thank you right now, God, that you are releasing your angels, God. We pray, God, that you release, oh God, your ministering spirits, oh God. Hallelujah. To minister unto the children of heirs, oh God. We thank 
you right now, Father. Oh, we praise you, God. We, we magnify your name, oh God. We thank you that the love of God abide in us, oh God. We pray that the love of God abide in our homes, even where the spirit of confusion may be. We bind that spirit of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus, even in the workforce, oh God. We bind that spirit of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare that the love of God, hallelujah, is going to abide in our homes. We decree and declare by the power of almighty God, hallelujah, that the love of God will abide in our businesses, even in our ministries, oh God. Hallelujah, that we will love one another. Lord Jesus, you said in your word, hallelujah, that this is a commandment that you have given us, that we will love one another. By this, all men will know that we are your disciples, God. We love those people, oh God, that's not in our uh, political, hallelujah, association, God. We love them. We love them. We put the devil to an open shame. We love the unlovable, God, even those that has transgressed against us. Lord, we love them. We love them by faith in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love those that even spoke lies and all manner did all manner of harm against us. We love them by faith. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you today. We thank you today, God. We thank you that our cup is running over today. Our cups are running over with the love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. All those that are uh, did backbiting. Hallelujah towards us. Glory be to God. We love them. Hallelujah. Why? Because it is your commandment, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, and, and, and we love, hallelujah, that we even love the hell, hallelujah, out of some people. Glory be to God. We will keep loving them and keep loving them and keep loving them until finally it will register, hallelujah, in their little minds and in their little hearts, hallelujah, that the love of God is real. Father, we thank you today. We praise you today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we just thank you. Lord, we thank you. We praise you, oh God. Father, we thank you that we will finish. Glory be to God. This year strong in you. Glory be to God. We shall be like trees planted by the rivers of water. We shall bring forth our fruit in due season. We shall not be moved no matter what, no matter what, Father. We thank you and we praise you, oh God. We shall not be moved. We shall finish, hallelujah, our course strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we don't look to the, uh, to the left, neither to the right. We look towards the heavens from which come in our help. And our help come from you that made the heaven and the earth. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for putting the praise on our tongue. We thank you, Father. We remember the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. Lord, we ask that you would anoint our tongues today, that we will be able to praise you, oh God. Like David said, if I had 10,000 tongues, still I could not praise him enough. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah for giving us this moment that we can come before the throne of grace and that we can touch and agree. Hallelujah with one another. And, Lord God, we lift up uh, Sister Kenya, her petition. Hallelujah for her grandsons. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we just lift those little grand boys up before you. God, you know them name by name. You know their length of days. You know their beginning from their end. And so, Father, we lift them up before you even now. We pray a hedge of protection around them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that they will be planted, hallelujah, like trees in the house of the Lord. We pray that they will grow up, hallelujah, with the love of God in their heart. We pray that you will bless their going out and bless their coming in this time for it, even and forevermore. Father, we thank you right now, God. Even those prayer petitions, glory be to God that people may have silent in their heart, God. There is nothing hidden 
from you that cannot be revealed. Lord, you know, glory be to God, what every viewer is standing in need of God. You know the fear, hallelujah, the level of fear that they are battling, hallelujah, that they are dealing with. Hallelujah, we cast it out now in the name of Jesus. We cast out every manner of fear, hallelujah, from out of their life. Glory be to God, most of all, from out of their minds in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we decree and declare your love, hallelujah, shed abroad over them now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you the thanks, the honor, the glory, and the praise because it belongs to you. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen, amen. Hallelujah. And I can still hear the spirit of the Lord saying, I just heard the spirit of the Lord saying, hallelujah, fear not, fear not, fear not. God wants you to get that down in your sanctified soul. I just heard the spirit of the Lord say again, fear not, fear not. Hallelujah. Don't even fear what man can do to you. The only thing we have to fear, we fear is uh, the one that can do something to our soul, and that's Jesus. And when we fear him on that level, that's a, a reverence for him. Fear that we won't do things, hallelujah, and act contrary to the will of God. That's a, a reverence for God, hallelujah. Fear not, fear not, my beloved, fear not. Hallelujah. God have you. Hallelujah. His hands are not too short that he cannot reach you. Glory be to God. He, he don't never sleep. Hallelujah. He watch everything. Glory be to God. His eye, if his eye can be on the sparrow, glory be to God, his eye can be on you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in that same book of Matthew chapter six. Hallelujah. Where he tell us not to, to worry. He said, look, look at the sparrow. He said, they don't spin and they don't toil. Glory be to God. So they don't even work. But yet I cause men to send them uh, 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 bread to feed them, to send them seed. Glory be to God. Man, to plant trees that seed will fall that they can eat. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, don't worry about today. Hallelujah. Don't worry about tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow take care of itself. You know, so many people have died as a result of fear. I was watching on the news when the COVID-19 uh, first started. There was a, a, a bus driver that came to the virus. And when they opened up his trunk, his family opened up his personal uh, trunk of his car. It was so much of stuff in there. Hallelujah. He had bleach. He had pneumonia. He had uh, wipes. He had this. He had that. He had a big book bag filled up with all kind of stuff. Hallelujah. To protect him. And as I was looking at that, the Lord said it wasn't so much. Uh, people say, oh, he had underlying issues. But I'm going to tell you what the Holy Ghost told me. And I'm not going to say nothing when God didn't tell me nothing. Hallelujah. We got a lot of people out here saying, oh, everything that God said. Glory be to God. And sometimes God ain't saying this stuff. Glory be to God. But when I was looking at that, that uh, incident on the news, the Lord spoke to me. He said he didn't die, hallelujah, because of he got the virus. He died because he had fear. He had fear that uh, he wouldn't make it. And he succumbed to that fear, even though he got the virus. But it was the fear that took him out. Hallelujah. Yes, the virus is taking people out. Yes, it is real. But I'm talking about this one particular case that God spoke to me. Hallelujah. He said it was the fear. It was the fear. He had fear because of the underlying issues. He had fear because of the job. Maybe somebody would have came on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But, you know, the devil would just mess with our minds like that. Hallelujah. Yes, we go through some things. And yes, those things are real. Glory be to God. But God tell us to fear not. NIV version of that that I read earlier, 1 John chapter 4. He says, fear brings punishment. Fear brings punishment. Fear brings torment. Perfect love, God's perfect love, casts out fear. 
Hallelujah. When you know how much God loves you, you won't have fear of being thrown out of your apartment, of your house, of your car being repossessed. Hallelujah. You won't have fear of that ailment in your body that God can't heal it. You won't have fear. Glory be to God. You may feel something, a natural reflex as a human, but when you begin to know how much God uh, love you, you would know that maybe God has something better. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God has something better. What is God trying to teach me through all of this? What is God trying to teach me? What is God trying to show me through all of this? Lord, I may be going through this, but I know you love me. I know you love me, and I know you're going to keep me. Glory be to God. Even if I have to go and get another apartment, another car, another job. Come on. Hallelujah. Even if I have to take a medicine. Hallelujah. Temporarily. Because God, I know you're going to heal me. God, I know you're going to keep me. Glory be to God. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off. Glory be to God. I remember there was an incident in the Bible. And the guy, the parents' son was had a deficiency in his body. He was lame. And uh, people like to point fingers. So they begin to come to Jesus and say, who sinned? Who sinned? Uh, his mother, father must be sinned. This is why their son is ravaged with this in their body. Come on. And Jesus said, no, it wasn't the mother nor the father. He said, this was for the honor and the glory of God. Some things you go through in life is for the honor and the glory of God. Because see, God wants to know that he can trust you. That as you are going through, that you, you still going to love on him. The love of God is still going to exude from your life. Come on. Hallelujah. And people will know that God is the real deal because they don't see you cursing God. They don't see you throwing your, your, the tower in. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may cry a little bit. But you're still saying, Lord God, I thank you. Lord God, I praise you. God, I know you're going to bring me through. Lord God, show me the way to go. Oh, God, I trust you. Hallelujah. Jesus told those people, he said, no, the mother, neither the father sinned. He said, it was for the honor and the glory of God. So that the people could have seen that God is a healer. He is a deliverer. That God is a miracle worker. That is nothing broken that God can't fix. Nothing. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's nothing that we are going through that God can't keep us in. Hallelujah. Some things are just for the honor and the glory of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There are some things in my life. And when I sit back and I think, sometimes I think that, hey, instead of being here, I should be there by now. Come on. Hallelujah. But God will remind me over and over, you are where I want you to be. You are where I need you to be for this moment. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I can't fear. Hallelujah. Because I know that God is with me every step on this journey. God is with me. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I remember about two years ago, I'm driving in and I'm telling the Lord, well, Lord, I thank you for this journey. Hallelujah. That I was on for this, this year. I thank you that you have been with me. You have been my provider. You have been my way maker. You have kept me even in a strange land. Hallelujah. Two years ago. Hallelujah. I say, God, I thank you that you kept me. Even when I was in a strange land, God, you protected me. You provided for me. God, you just showed yourself mighty and gracious towards me. God said, no, it was, it's not a journey. Hallelujah. He said, what you been on this year? It's an odyssey. And I'm like, an odyssey? 
And I tried to remember that because sometimes the Holy Ghost speak to you. You want to remember. I say, Lord, help me to remember this. Help me to remember this because I don't know what honesty mean. So when I pulled up to the apartment complex, I Googled it. Hallelujah. A, a, a spiritual pilgrimage. It's like a pilgrimage. God said, no, I sent you there. Hallelujah. On a pilgrimage. Hallelujah. That you were studying me. Hallelujah. That you will learn a different side of me. That you will know that I am to be trusted. Glory be to God. No matter where I send you. No matter who go with you or who don't. Hallelujah. He said, I got you, Karen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I say that to you today. God got you. No matter what season you are in your life, no matter what has come upon you, hallelujah, God said, hallelujah, his love, his love, his love, his perfect love will cast out all fear. Glory be to God. Even when you have to uh, associate with people that may not look like you, hallelujah, glory be to God. They may not be of your ethnic persuasion, hallelujah, that doesn't... That you shouldn't fear. Hallelujah. I see uh, Sister Pamela on here today wrote a beautiful story about a friend that she had for years that wasn't her ethnic persuasion. But the love of God that exudes out of her life attracted this woman to be in her life. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got to show the love of God. Hallelujah. We got to walk in the love of God. I was just thinking, glory be to God of my dad uh, about last week or the week before. You know, sometimes you just think of your life and how things went. I remember my dad telling me, glory be to God, that how he got his house way before I was born. My parents attained the house before I was born. And he was just telling me, he said, the foreman on his job, which was a Caucasian man, uh, held the note for him for X amount of years. He said, I will hold the note for you for X amount of years. So in other, way, in other words, my dad was paying, making the mortgage payment to this Caucasian man, I forget how many years my dad said, if he would make every payment, let's just say five years, hypothetically, and not miss a payment, then the, the then he would take him to the bank that he would be able to get a mortgage. Hallelujah. So why am I saying that? You know, sometimes you don't know who God is going to use. They may not be from your country. They may, they may not be the color of your skin. Because way back then, it was hard for a black man to get a loan from the bank. But you see how God used that Caucasian man to hold the note for a black man. That he would have a house to put his young family in. So we can't dismiss nobody. Like I say, sometimes you got to love the 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 H E L L. Some people think it's a bad word, but when I say it, that I mean that destination, that that fire. Sometimes you got to the love of God got to be in you so much, Hallelujah! Tell it it a turn other people, it a spin other people head. Come on, the love of God. Hallelujah. We can't have fear to say, oh, I can't talk to this man or this lady or, or that lady or, or whatever. Come on. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son. We got to love. Yeah, we know some people. Yeah, we, we're not going to deny what it is. It is what it is. Come on. It, it, the truth be told. But once you become a Christian, you can't walk by those worldly principles. You have to walk in the love of God. When you walk in the love of God, you can, you can go anywhere. And the people, even though they don't want to receive you, they got to bow down to the God that's on the inside of you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I say I'm going to stop and I'm stopping. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost just wants you to know. 
hallelujah, that Jesus loved you so much and stamp out the fear, stamp out the fear for Jesus loved you so much. Everything that is happening and that is going on, it is not a surprise to God. Nothing is a surprise to God. Yes, I may be blindsided. Yes, I've been blindsided before. Mm. That's why the Bible tells us don't put our hope and trust in man. Mm. Yes, we can be blindsided, but God will never be blindsided. He knew everything. He knew everything. Hallelujah. In your personal life, in our country, God know everything. Man, he rule and he reign. That's all I got to say. God rule and he reign. Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved. If you haven't shared the broadcast yet, go ahead and share the broadcast. Make it a great day and know that you are in my prayers and I love you with the love of God and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. God bless you.